What's up guys and welcome back to another video today and today we are back on oil racing uh, This time in something a little bit different from the Mazdas. Uh, we have upgraded to the Cadillacs um, These cars do sound absolutely amazing. They sound a lot better than the MX, uh, MX-5s um, But today we are beginning the racing around the mighty track of Monza um, We are in a field of 16. I haven't qualified um, So as a result, I am back in 12th the guy creeping behind me in the rear view mirror um, this is gonna be a post uh, race comms um, and we're just getting underway now this is a rolling start as opposed to the uh, standing start of the MX-5s um, so this is probably the uh, first proper rolling start I've done on a track uh, so this is gonna be interesting um, what also is gonna be interesting as well is when we all get to the first corner because as you're fully aware on Monza I'm sure um, the first corner or corners are very very tight and it's off a fast long straight uh, down to a second gear corner uh, so it's gonna be very very interesting I'm gonna try and not take too many chances on this um, like I say it's the first time I've probably raced on this track and uh, a few cars weaving in front of me and the car in front of me is braking quite sharply as well um, I'm hoping that the class of drivers in this race will be better than the MX-5 ones um, it's technically out of rookie class it's like a step up from the rookie class it's probably still down in the rookie area um, but this at the moment this is as high as I can go until I can upgrade my license to C class uh, so I'm gonna do a few more racing these because these are a bit faster than the MX-5s uh, we're just rounding the final turn now and uh, get onto the main straight where we're hopefully gonna be able to get a good run uh, from the start and not get over the top too many times and hopefully keep it clean and not get rammed and destroyed before we get to the first corner that is my main point aim in this so now we are underway as we accelerate now and then the car in front of me starts to check up a little bit so i'm just going to keep it i'm not going to try to be too aggressive i've got a bit of space behind me a couple of cars in front of me slow up so i have to I'm going to take evasive action when I'm near you ending, but I'm just going to take it yeah, nice and slow. Right, Don't right. really Volcar care who car overtakes right. me at the moment. Oh, I just want to try and get round without um, any right. damage. So we've gone, we started in 12th, yeah. we're probably back in about 13th, 14th right. now. Uh, so we lost a couple of places off the line, but now we can use the track, track to try and gain those places back and get them back by racing. Accomplishment number one, get through the first corner without any damage. So this another fast uh, chicane, slow on the right hand side, so cut into the left. And there's been an accident on this one. Um, and what I'm going to do on this as well, um, can make it quite interesting. All the accidents up here, I'll actually run over the uh, accidents at the end um, in the replay cam, so you can see what's going on. Uh, so we've already had one minor accident with the car spinning. We've got some smoke on the left hand side of the track as well, so a few people running wide. Green car being forced wide, and another accident there. So that's another two spaces we've made back up from the two we lost. Um, so I think we actually gained a few places from the 12 positions. Yeah, one on your right. um, now this is interesting. This is very okay. tight. One on my right, one in front of me, and getting into a heavy braking zone. Clear on the right. Look at the guy on the right decides to uh, ease off and let me have the corner. So now he's just trying to try and slowly work my way through the field, one by one, and pick them all off. Um, now this lobby, um, and like I said I didn't qualify, and that's why I started back in 12th. Uh, the leader, or the person that qualified in first, uh, was winning about a 151.5 lap time. Uh, so I was quite confident that I could actually keep up with them and possibly go a little bit faster. I've done 150.7s, 0.5s uh, in practice, um, but obviously that's practice and not running all over the curbs. Uh, another thing on this as well is to make sure that I don't get any slow down penalties, because if you get a slow down penalty, you literally all lose right, about like five seconds. Time. So the main places you can do that are this first corner, this right-hander, you can catch it on the uh, curb and inside and you will get a uh, penalty and you'll get told to slow down, which means coming off the gas for about five seconds, everybody passes you and you have to start all over again. It's slightly close to the back end of him, but I've got a good run now, so hopefully we can try and get some speed down and then he pulls to the left and brakes a lot, way too much. So I don't know if he's giving up the position or he's just giving up racing altogether. This guy was trying to pull back in, but yeah, kept left. it out to the left, and we're getting into braking zone about yeah. now. Try and keep it in, we're try and keep it around the outside, give him some space, but he's already full backed. So uh, we've, that's another position, so that's two spaces within the space of uh, two corners. So now we've got a group of four cars in front of us, and they look pretty closely bunched up. Um, the leader is more than three seconds ahead of us. 
Um, so I'm going to guess he's fair down the road to catch him. It's going to be a bit of a stretch. So this track, I am actually I haven't raced Monza that often, um, and so far it is probably my favourite track out of the ones I've raced in our racing. Um, I haven't done Watkin, Watkins Glen yet either, and I really want to do that because um, I do like that track quite a lot. It's it's quite boring, but it's quite fun to drive. Um, and it, 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 it's it's going to be great. I, 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 if, if I think it's in Project Cars, so that should be pretty awesome if it is. Because um, it is a very, very track and a little bus stop bit in it as well, which is by far my favourite section of the whole track. So, round in the final turn on lap two. I'm going to try and get a good drive off this corner. Try and keep up with these guys. Again, going to be four cars going into turn two. It's going to be mighty interesting. Um, we're actually going to make these five cars, and there's one behind me, so that's six. It's six within a short space of each other. The left car is a little bit of a gap on the left. Right. Squeeze down, get a little nudge from him as he goes past. I'm going to try and keep three it wide, wide given three wide into right. turn right. one. Um, I was more than happy to right. let them battle it out, right. and you right. see they have a little bash, and the red one goes off, comes back on, hits the other car. Um, and now it's just a drag race, trying to keep position, Still trying there. not to squeeze him too much, trying to keep All it on clear, the outside. And that's two positions gained on that corner. Um, so now we, I believe, up to fifth overall. Um, so again, not too bad. Just trying to keep it slow and consistent through this. And you see that red car actually drove through there. That will give him a slow down penalty. And you'll see in a minute exactly what he decides to do. He decides to take it there. So he comes off the gas, I swerve. The car behind me doesn't see him at all and gets rear-ended. Um, and smacks right into the back of him. Now, that wasn't the guy in the black car who hit him's fault, in my belief. That guy had a slow down penalty. He had to slow down, otherwise he'd get black flagged. But there is a safe way to do it. Do not start in the middle of the track and just come off the gas altogether because nobody else is going to know that you've got a stop go penalty and probably have a fair idea. Um, but if you're going to come off the accelerator and slow down, do it in a safe place, pull off the racing line. You're going to lose those positions anyway, so there's no point trying to block everybody. Uh, but that ruined his race, the cars behind him, and possibly another car behind that as well that was probably involved in the accident. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can kind of understand why he's done it, because I've read it before, and it's like, oh, well, uh, where do I slow down? I've got cars behind me, but you try and pull it off the racing line. You have got a little while to take it before it black flags you. Um, but that was a prime example of not the way to do it. So now we are in fourth, I believe. Just waiting for the relative to update once we cross the line. You're we are in fourth. So we've got the third place, second place. Uh, first place is 10, 11 seconds in front of us. Um, so we're going to have to do some racing uh, to catch up with him. Then we just see him going around the corner in front of us as we turn in for these. And hopefully these two guys are going to be battling in front of me, which they uh, do, and slows them down a little bit and gives me the opportunity to catch up. And also red car is blinking quite a lot. Blinking usually means a connection type issue. Um, and it's also very, very off-putting when you're driving at high speed close behind him. So I'm hoping that sorts itself out before I get to him. Because not knowing where the car is in front of you, just suddenly have it reappearing, it's a bit scary. I won't lie to you, it's happened to me before on an oval, and I actually shit myself, rammed on the brakes, and spun round. You can see these two guys, the white car decides, oh, I'm going to have a lunge here, and pretty much lunges up the inside, Tur red car turns in, red car gets spun around, and that's us up to third place. Um, we've gained two seconds back on the leader. Um, so there is a good chance that we can catch the leader on this and win. Um, which would be awesome. Would only be my second overall ever win on our racing. Uh, first one was in the MX-5s, uh, which is in the field where I was about 3 or 4 seconds a lap faster than everybody, which I got out in front within lap 3 I think it was, and then I had like 7 or 8 laps just roaming around on my own. Quite boring. Not my most satisfying win, but this one, I feel like I'm going to have to work for it a little bit and try and race and catch up with cars. So this guy in front, I think he has got some decent speed. Um, he does pull away a little bit at certain parts of the track and then I catch him up. Um, but it's alright being fast on one lap, uh, but unless you're fast on all of the laps, then you're buggered. If you're fast on one lap and then spin off, you put it in the grass. In the next lap, you've pretty much lost all the advantage you gained. This is a yeah, 25 minute lap race as well. Um, it's on currently lap 5 of 100. And you can see the white car way too hot into that corner. Slowed him right down and now we're right on his tail. 
Uh, we are going to try and get a nice run out of this. And at the moment, when I was racing this, I was thinking, right, I'm not going to do a mad lunge. It's quite fast. It seems pretty decent. So I'm just going to see how he reacts under pressure and just try and stay behind him, make myself large in his rear view mirrors, see if he makes a mistake, and see if he can get past the easy way. You'll be amazed how many people um, crack under pressure when they see a car right behind them. I feel exactly the same. If I see a car darting about in my rear view mirror, it makes me nervous and I make mistakes and I'm slower. Um, so I'm hoping the same thing will happen with this guy. So it's all about just trying to say large in his rear view mirror, make myself as wide as possible and uh, see if we can try and get past him the easy way. Let's not uh, trade paint as we go past, let's just uh, try and cruise past him if we can. We're on lap 5, uh, there is about 14 laps altogether in this, I think we do that, about 14 laps within 25 minutes. We are 10 seconds ahead of 4th uh, place, so we've got no issues being caught from anybody behind. And it's all about just getting the power down now, and uh, he does run wide on that corner quite a lot. Uh, you don't get penalised for it, you don't get any uh, times uh, penalties, um, but it just feels a little bit cheap, a little bit dirty to me. Um, so I tend to not do it, try and stay within the confines of the track. There are a lot of people to do it, um, but for me, ugh, I just don't see the satisfaction out of going wide. Yeah, you get more speed and try and stay ahead, um, but if I get, if I stay in third now and finish racing third, I'm doing it clean. I'm doing it in second even better because I've kept it clean and finished ahead of him. So we're doing 172 miles now into the braking zone. Going second gear to about 50 miles an hour, maybe a little bit less, about 40. Trying to get under power, not spin the back tyres too much. We have got traction control on this. It is a fixed setup. We can't change it. Everybody has exactly the same car, uh, so which is good. Cause I quite like that because it's down to driver skill as opposed to tuning skill. Uh, it makes it a little bit more competitive. And for me. Um, oh, we just saw the leader up there as well. That's no, the the a leader. The that is the leader that has spun. Good job. The next car is the leader. So that's made us uh, up to second now. And um, now we have about eight laps to catch this guy, pass him, um, and win the race, which we're going to try and do. Um, but it will be pretty tough. Again, I see a lot of people running wide there, putting the wheels in the gravel, kicking up dust. Um, I'm not sure if you get a penalty on that bit, I don't think I'm going to run wide on there. I'm probably not getting as much corner exit out of that corner as I'd like to. Because uh, I don't run over the curbs that much, so I'll probably do a little bit better. I haven't done a great deal of practice laps on this. So again, running wide on there, which allows him to pull out a bit of a gap. He's going to pull away from me down here. But we're going to try and catch him. Yeah, with these cars, it is a totally fixed setup. You can't alter any settings. Traction control is on level five. Um, it's the same for everybody. Uh, I've just done a 150.7, which is a fairly good lap for me. I mean, the leaders are winning high 148. These are fastest Thomas in here, um, which is about two seconds of that fast to me. I have no idea how they're doing two seconds of that faster, but they are. Um, and you see him? Yep. I think he possibly got a slow down penalty there. I think he cooked inside that track. Um, a little bit too much, and it's got a slow down penalty, which means you just pull wide, let me pass. Um, and now we can race away. Um, and that's on to lap 7. Uh, we're just going to go down here. You will see, if you watch my rear view mirror as you go around this corner, as you get around this right hander, he catches the curb and spins out. There you go. Um, and that pretty much gives us a, fun, a free run now, all the way to the finish line. We did have one guy, Craig Marshall, um, who was catching me a little bit, probably about half a second a lap. Um, and he was putting on a bit of pressure, um, but I believe he spun out or crashed out uh, and disconnected at about lap 12. Uh, so from here on in, it's pretty much a straight race to the line. Um, no major issues, no major scares. Um, we finish in first, and we get my second ever win on our racing. My first ever in the Cadillac, you know, in my second race, which I really enjoyed. Which, to be honest, I enjoyed a lot more than the MX-5s, so we'll be definitely doing some more paints in this. I've downloaded a custom Cheetos paint job. Uh, bright orange and leopard print or cheetah print why would it be leopard print if it's cheetos cheetah print uh, which I'm going to run for the next one uh, and then what we're going to do now is we are going to go into um, crash cam 
uh, and we have a look at some of the replay of some of the crashes and incidents that we had on the first few laps uh, and just to see exactly how they happened and let's see if we can assign some blame um, everybody loves the blame game um, so we'll watch it back and I'll see you guys uh, when we've got it loaded up Okay then, so here we have the first instance on the second set of chicanes. We're watching the number 12 car, the orange car. Uh, as he comes into this, he turns in. Looks like he just gets a little touch from the back and ends up dishing it in the wall. And then there is a couple of spinners behind him. A lot of bashing noises, a lot of people getting rear-ended, a lot of people getting spun round. Luckily, we're able to pick our way through it and not get involved. Second one isn't really anybody's fault, I don't think. You can see the number 6 car there coming into the uh, right-hander. Catches, no, loses the back end, slides across trying to catch it and counter steer, takes out the other car. Um, I don't really think that was anybody's fault. Um, it's just unfortunate. Uh, that it happens in that corner sometimes if you get your front wheel on the inside of the track. That back end has a tendency to spin around on you. Okay, and this is the one involving the slow down penalty. So you can see coming into the chicane, the red car has already run wide. He's trying to keep as close to me as possible. Um, both on the gas there, both full throttle, and then I was to the right, and then all of a sudden there's a big red car in his way. You wouldn't expect a car to be that slow on track. Um, so for me personally, that is the red car's fault. Um, you shouldn't be slopping or slowing down that much on the racing line. Um, and not only did you get a cause accident from 2 cars, there's another one that we've just passed as well, so there's a three car incident because somebody slowed down. Probably in the wrong place. And then finally we have this, which should give us a good view of the incident. Um, the car on the grass there does get a better drive out of the corner. Is he far enough alongside to try and challenge the corner? Did the red car turn in too much? Um, I'll let you guys decide. Uh, post a comment below, let me know who you thought was in the wrong for which accident. Um, and try and not cause an argument. Let's not go too mad, too crazy. Uh, well, there you go, guys. That's the my latest iRacing race. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until my next one, I'll see you all soon.